Hello and welcome to Point Scatter. Today we are exploring the moons of Saturn. Saturn has 274 confirmed moons in its orbit, the highest in our solar system. They are diverse, ranging from tiny moonlets just a few meters across to some as large as Titan, which is a mini planet in itself. Most of them are made up of ice. Some even have subsurface oceans underneath the icy crust. We begin with the closest moons of Saturn that orbit within its rings. Saturn has several moonlets orbiting within the ring particles, which are a few hundred meters across in size. Within Saturn's A ring, we have a shepherd moon, Pan, orbiting inside the NK gap. The NK gap is a 325 km wide gap within the A-ring of Saturn, created by the gravity of the moon Pan. Pan is about 35 km across and orbits Saturn once every 13.8 hours, and it is shaped like a walnut. The next moon is Daphnis, which orbits within the Keeler gap of the A-ring. The Keeler Gap is a 42 km wide gap in the A-ring created by the orbit of Daphnis, which is also a shepherd moon. These particles around the moon are supposed to be much more densely packed and much tinier in size, but I did not want to smoke my PC at this point. The moon Atlas orbits Saturn just outside of the A-ring. It is positioned in the Rosh division which is the space between the A and F rings. It looks like a flying saucer due to its smooth equatorial ridge and completes one orbit in approximately 14.4 hours. Atlas is about 40.8 kilometers across at its widest dimension. If we place them next to each other, you can see Daphnis is much smaller than Pan or Atlas. The next moon is Prometheus, which orbits closer to the inner edge of the F-ring. It has an elongated shape, where the longest side is about 137 km in length. Prometheus' gravity influences the shape of the F-ring as it pulls material as it orbits along its path. Pandora orbits Saturn outside the F-ring and takes about 15.1 hours to complete one orbit. It is 103 km in length along its longest side. It is much heavily cratered and has two large craters 30 km in diameter. Prometheus and Pandora are much larger than the previous three moons. The next two moons, Epimetheus and Janus, are co-orbital moons, which means they switch orbits with each other. Depending on which moon is in the inner orbit, they take approximately 16 hours and 40 minutes to complete one orbit. The inner moon orbits around 30 seconds quicker. Epimetheus is the smaller of the two moons and it has several craters on it. The larger moon, Janus, has a mean diameter of 178 km. It is about four times massive than Epimetheus. It is also extensively cratered and is made up mostly of ice. As the moon in the inner orbit is slightly faster, as it approaches closer to the outer moon, their gravity starts pulling on each other. The outer moon, in this case Janus, starts gaining speed and moves to the inner orbit. And Epimetheus loses energy as it moves outwards. They never come closer than approximately 10,000 km and this switching happens once every 4 years. Agagon is a much smaller moon with a mean diameter of about 600 meters. It is elongated along one side and appears to have a smooth surface. Janus and Epimetheus are significantly larger than the rest of the moons we have seen so far. And there's Agagon which is the smallest among them. 
we still have several more moons left to cover which will be covered next time. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Also check the Superhive store link in the description. Alright, see you in the next part.